The vision statement of our school is that we are a revolutionary pathway to education. And the CSO knew that coming into it. And I think that they refused to settle. Uh, I think they pushed the boundaries of what a school really can look like. This building was formerly known as Hoosier Auto Parts Warehouse. So when we took that to the school board and said, <laughs> we're going to purchase the old Hoosier Auto Parts store and we're going to turn that into a school, you can imagine that we got quite a bit of pushback from the community. Uh, the New Tech campus is based on the New Tech model, which is a replication model that began in Napa, California. We are one of 62 schools nationwide, 16 in Indiana. Uh, the school is um, uh, based Primarily on project-based learning is the um, primary instructional practice. So your traditional classroom, which is around 800, 900 square feet, does not work for integrated uh, classes in project-based learning. We also wanted it to, um, to reflect a 21st century workplace. So when you walk in the door, we did not want it to look like a traditional high school. Well, um, I think we learn like completely different here because we relate everything to real world situations and it's all project based. Sometimes we have classes with small numbers. So those we have um, smaller studios or we have those still bigger studios where we can spread out and do our collaboration work. But when there's 60 students in a, in a studio, then we need to have room to break out and work out in our small groups. So we have collaboration room now. And we can honestly say that there's nothing about this facility that's holding us back. So I really think it lends itself to not just the variety of of group sizes and so forth, but the, just the variety of needs that kids have. The north part of the building and the middle corridor were done first, and the space that I'm sitting in right now uh, was just in an open warehouse. Our design team, being myself and my facilitators, um, I really believe that we designed this building. You know, my expectation was that they were going to bring us something, uh, a proposal, and what they brought um, refreshingly was the perimeter, a drawing of the perimeter of the building. It said, tell us about instruction in this space of the building. What's it look like? What's it sound like? Expressing mine and, and, and the design team's vision for what this building could be, I, I thought potentially it was a stretch. And, and they uh, were able to, to convince us that we could do not only what we were talking about, but they pushed us a little bit to, to not settle. So they challenged us. Um, they made us confident that we were going to create a space that we could be very proud of. Yeah, I'm definitely like proud of our school and proud of what we do. We have a lot of visitors that come in and we get to talk to, to people about um, what our school's about and we're a part of all of that and we're bragging on ourselves kind of whenever people come in, but it, it's just a good feeling. I think everybody is this year and in future years will continue to use the space as well as it can be used and you know, make more great things happen. <laughs>